Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Foss the Silver Chimera, and this is The Breakdown, the show where I talk about stuff from video games that I like. In this episode, we're talking about the first ever raid exotic weapon in the Destiny franchise, and my first exotic ever. So, let's get into it. Raids and Destiny are the best of the best content. It is where the most fun can be had, where the best memories are made, and the one-of-a-kind loot can be found. For those of you who may not know what I'm talking about, let me back up a bit. Raids are a six-player activity. Think of them as a six-man assassination mission. Say that six times fast. They require teamwork and communication to get past a variety of encounters. Sometimes it's defending something from a horde of enemies. Other times it's getting to the end of a jumping puzzle in one piece, if you can. But every raid in the Destiny universe has boss battles truly titanic and climatic in size and scope. In the history of the game series, there have been 10 raids. Deepstone Crypt, Garden of Salvation, Crown of Sorrow, Scourge of the Past, Last Wish, Leviathan, Wrath of the Machine, King's Fall, Crota's End, and the Vault of Glass. Plus two raid layers, but we're not really talking about them. The Vault of Glass, Destiny's first raid. I'm sure you've seen a bunch of other videos that explain this in detail, what this raid means to longtime Destiny players like myself. I'm not going into all that here. The reason I'm even bringing any of that up is to make this point. 10 raids, 10 exotic weapons, and this was the first of them all. The Vex Mythoclast. A causal loop within this weapon's mechanism, suggesting that the firing process somehow binds space and time into... A causal, a causal loop, loop within, within this, this weapon's, weapon's mechanism, mechanism suggesting, suggesting that the firing, that the firing process, process somehow binds space, space and time into. A causal loop within this weapon's mechanism, suggesting that the firing process somehow binds space and time into. There's a lot to talk about with this weapon. So, let's start with the basics. The X Mythic class is a fusion rifle. For those of you who don't know, fusion rifles are intended to be a sort of middle ground between shotguns and snipers. In theory. They have a lot more range than shotguns, in theory but they have a charge time. On a trigger pull, you see the weapon charge up and then it fires a volley of energy bolts, hence the name Fusion Rifle. I mean, I assume it has something to do with nuclear fusion, but I don't know, man, that just work here. So that's what a Fusion Rifle is, and that's what they do. Did you get all that? Good, now forget everything I just said because Vex Mythic Class is fully automatic, and I believe it's the only one in the game series to do so. If I'm wrong, please inform me in the comment section below. So let's talk perks. What can this bad boy do? First up, we have the intrinsic perk, Timeless Mythoclast. It states the weapon fires a single bolt with each trigger pull. Oh, that's not right. God damn it, Bungie. Ugh. Okay, like I said, the rifle fires in full auto. So you hold the trigger down and it just keeps firing. Maybe the text is some kind of nod to the lore and the Vex being all timey-wimey. Maybe you pull the trigger once and the gun counts each and every timeline you pull the trigger in. So it keeps firing due to a single trigger pull? I don't know, man. I just work here. Moving on. The next trait is Temporal Unlimiter. Defeating targets builds up stacks of overcharge. And when you get six stats of overcharge, you can swap its firing mode to a high-powered single shot. Effectively turning this weapon into a linear fusion rifle, which is just a more powerful version of a fusion rifle that fires a singular shot. And it's more effective at range. After you acquire the Mythic Class by doing a relatively simple but long series of puzzles in the Volta Class raid, you get a little Easter egg from the Whisper of the Worm mission, and you get the Catalyst. After you unlock it, the gun can now make orbs of power on multi-kills, and it gets the perk Calculated Balance. Higher stacks of overcharge increase the stability. So, pretty self-explanatory. The more stacks of overcharge you get, the more stable the gun becomes. I think the Catalyst is interesting. It gives the Mythic Class a... Uh, this choice, this little mini game when using it, as you defeat enemies, the gun gets more stable and that feels really nice. And then at some point you switch the firing mode and go for a nice crispy headshot. I'll give my personal opinion on the gun as a whole in a bit, but for now, let's just talk about the design of this gun. Like all exotics in the Destiny universe, Vex has a one of a kind look. It's heavily based on the weapons of the Vex. It looks like it takes pieces from the slap rifle, the line rifle, and the torch hammer. The D1 version of this weapon has a glossy yellow to it. It kind of reminds me of a toy or an action figure. Kind of like that bumblebee yellow on old Transformers toys, you know what I mean? No? Anyway. The D2 version of Vex Mythic Class is a uh, bronze, which makes it look a lot more like it's made out of a Vex. I like the new look. It definitely benefited a lot from being brought into Destiny 2. 
As far as ornaments go, D1 Vex had Chrono Shot, which changes the Bumblebee yellow into a sleek chrome and changes the lights into a nice yellow. I really like this ornament, I wish I had it back in the day. Does anyone else think the name Chrono Shot is kind of like a reference to Chrono Trigger? Just a thought. Next up, the Destiny 2 version also has one ornament called the Untold Tale, which trades the shiny bronze for chrome again. And yeah, but this time the light stays orange. I don't know, man. I just work here. Neither of these are really ornaments. They're more like shaders. Hopefully the D2 Vex gets more ornaments in the future. Maybe one where it's like white and gold, like the Vex on Mercury, or it could be Taken in reference to that quest in D1 where the Taken invaded the Vault of Glass. If you have any ideas for a cool looking ornament, let me know. I'd love to hear about it or to see them. So we've talked about the weapon, the perks, and the aesthetic. What about the story, the lore behind this gun? Well, like most things concerning the Vex, it's a bit of a mystery. The Vault of Glass has this really deep and interesting lore to it, and I'm sure you can find other videos that go deep into the lore, or if you want me to go deep into the lore, comment, tell me below, I'd love to do it. But the quick and dirty is, well, three guardians went to the vault to stop the Vex from doing Vex things. Those guardians were Pahanin the Hunter, the only survivor of the Vault of Glass, and he was so shaken to his core, he made a light machine gun that had a smart AI so he'd never be alone again. Really sad. Praetith, the warlock who was erased from existence, and the only record of him is a few weapons and armor scattered around. Well, that's not true. There was this time the Taken invaded the Vault of Glass, and they seemed to let him talk to us, or maybe that was a trick from the Vex? Anyway, he gone. But he did give us the no time to explain. So, that's neat. Finally, we have Kabir, a grumpy old titan that has no friends. His lack of companionship is so well noted, he was called Kabir the Legionless. He fought hordes and hordes of Vex, and eventually, he was corrupted and fell. But as a last act of defiance, he made the Aegis Shield, a weapon that can be used to break the unbreakable and truly let other Guardians make their own fate. Fun fact, I think Kabir is actually the shield, like the shield itself, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. All the other weapons you get from the Vault of Glass were forged by Kabir, except the Vex with the class. Let's take a look at the lore. Some legends live forever. Others are overwritten, reshaped by the sheer will of those who believe that any ordeal can be conquered or any foe vanquished, any god cast down. The Mythoclast is a vexed instrument from some far-flung corner of time and space, mysteriously fit for human hands. Its origins, mechanism of action, and ultimate purpose remain unknown. Perhaps it will reveal itself to you in time. Like I said, mysterious. Who made this gun? I don't think it's from Kabir. So did the Vex make this gun for us? Is this some kind of hint that we might ally ourselves with the Vex in the future? I'm not sure. I'd like to point out the name Mythoclast. After some research, and by research I mean scrolling through wikis, I found out that Mythoclast comes from two Greek words. Muthos, Muthos, muth whatever, meaning legend or myth. And Kalastos, meaning broken into pieces. So the Vex Mythic class means Vex, breaker of myths. And I think the name can be taken in two ways. Either the Vex themselves are the breakers of myths and legends, or we, the Guardians, who went into the Vault of Glass, fought Harpies, Minotaurs, Cyclopses, Wyverns, and Gorgons to ultimately break the Vex into a million little pieces, like glass. But hey, I don't know, man. I just work here. So, like I did in the Dead Man's Tale video, I was going to share my thoughts on exotic armor that might pair well with this gun. First, the Warlock chest piece, Mantle of Battle Harmony. The perk Absorption Cell says, Take downs with weapons that have a damage type matching your subclass element grant you super energy. While your super energy is full, you instead gain a temporary bonus of damage to weapons of the same matching type. So, Vex being solar, you can run it with Well or any of the other solar trees and boost that damage up a bit. It really needs it, but I'll get to that in a second. Next up for Titans is the Path of Burning Steps. These exotic legs have the perk Firewalker. It states solar final blows periodically grant you an escalating bonus to weapon damage. So my fellow Titans out there, throw these legs on, run middle or bottom tree sunbreaker, 
Then kill everything with a pulse. As you do, you'll rev this weapon up damage-wise and have more stability. Then, when some of the taker enemy shows up, switch that firing mode and then vaporize them. I've been using this personally with a certain build of my own and it's pretty fun, just try it out. Let me know if you want me to show some of my own builds, by the way. Might be a fun series, who knows. And that's about it for the Vex Mythic class. It's back, and I'm happy it's here. This was my first ever exotic in Destiny. My friends took me through the Volta class, and when we finally killed Atheon, it dropped for me. And I innocently said, hey, I got an exotic. So the team said, I swear to God, if you say, I interrupted with, what's the Vex Mythic class? And everyone on the raid team burst into laughter and told me to fuck off or eat a dick. Good times. That would be the first of my odd luck with raid exotics. I'll tell you about it sometime. But this gun is special to me, and the game as a whole, I think. From the design and the theming of its name and the connections to one of the coolest stories in Destiny, it's a one of a kind. That being said, I really hope Bungie buffs it soon. I feel it's kind of meh in its current form. I think it's because the new linear fusion rifle mode, it feels like they kind of dialed back the power because they didn't want everyone running around with a one-shot laser beam in their pocket in Crucible, which I get, but this is the Vex Mythic class, man. It could be a little spicy, you know, but I'm not hating on it or anything like that. I use it because it's fun and I have it. And on top of that, Bungie said they would be buffing it soon. So, you know, no harm, no foul, right? I'm Fossil the Silver Chimera. Thank you very much for checking out my video. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this exotic fusion rifle in the comment section below. Who do you think made it? How should they buff it? Do you have an exotic weapon you want me to break down next? Talk to me. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did in fact like this video, and ring my bells so you know when the next breakdown is coming. Until then, once again, I'm Fossa the Silver Chimera, and don't forget, life imitates art. Light to dark. I'll see you next time.